you see this little wheel right here, you can push it to push pipes out like that. Oh, look, that piece flew off. That's not supposed to fly off, man. That's a cool effect. I kind of like that. Man, do I have to do a drop test on this right now? Okay, I'll do that last, so stay tuned for the drop test. Dude, you can move a little bit closer to me. Why are you so angry, man? What happened to your face? There we go. Ah, you keep dropping my mouth. Yeah. Everyone settle down? No. Got a slobber on my face from the food that I ate earlier? Yeah. Anyway. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. Check it out, yeah. This is actually a pretty new series from Zingbo. Zingbao, however you like to say their name. They're still around, by the way. A lot of people keep asking me, like, what's up with them? Do they get rated just like the other brand? This is what I know. They're 100% still around, they're still functioning. However, that factory that got raided, we all know who they are. The molds of the pieces are actually shared by other companies too. Not just one, there's several, and some of them are original. What that means is they have to remake those molds again and the sets will eventually be pushed back out if they're out of stock. You know, some of these sets do get out of stock on our store and then we have to restock and have to wait for a little bit, but keep checking back on the store because stuff always comes in and out. I can't tell when that is. That's China for you, man. But check it out. What you're seeing right here is from Zingbao. This is a new series called Firefighting. And there's a set of four fire trucks that are available. What's funny is out of all four of them, you guys picked this one. I don't know why you requested to please review the set. So here you guys go. Check it out. This is Zingbao's Firefighting series. Water tank, fire truck, XB03030, 720 pieces. If you've been watching my channel, and welcome to all you new guys, you know that I'm not a vehicle guy, but I'm doing this for you, man. Now there's three other ones, and I'm not sure if I'll actually buy them because I won't buy them for myself, I just review it for you. But maybe if this video gets, say, 200 likes, then maybe I'll do the other ones for you, all right? So let's check this one out. Now overall, I'm not an expert on fire trucks, so I don't even know if something like this even exists, but it looks pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna move the minifigure out of the way. It does come with one, and it comes with a, a, like a weird accessory there. But check this out right here. I'll do like a little rotation by hand. You're probably seeing some beautiful close-up shots at the same time. As far as build goes, this was easy to put together. It's not that difficult. It's not bad. It was fun to put together. Didn't feel repetitive at all. Now, the only thing was the feeling of it. For some reason, I think it's because of like the red color. It's kind of bright. It felt different, the clutch or the way it puts together. It felt, I don't know, I don't know that I don't know how to explain that. And then they have like some pieces that are silver and they used like a different kind of coating on it. So it felt a little bit more tighter than usual, but overall it's pretty good. For those of you that were interested in the set, I think the most important thing was this part here, the windshield thing to see how it fit in. And it's like Royal Toys, man. If you haven't seen Royal Toys, check them out. I'll put a card here and link in the description. They have no windows on the side. How dare you? But I guess that's the way that this thing has to slant. I'm not sure why the top does come off. We can pull that off as you can see right there. And yeah, this thing is sitting on hinges, right? Nah, I forgot what those were called earlier, but there you go. It does move up and down. You're not really supposed to, right? You're just supposed to like sit up there, put the roofing on and never, ever, ever touch it. Oh, there it kind of came off because I keep moving it. So, you know, if you keep moving it, that will happen. There we go. So push this back on here. Is that a deal breaker for you guys? I don't know, it's okay to me, it looks fine. What is that on the front, is that like a horn? Actually looks kinda cool, I could be wrong. And underneath that it says fire, and you know what you guys? Everything on this set is printed. Thank you very much. The license plate says TB2 100 fire. Not sure what that means or what that represents. Then you got the rear view mirrors there, really simple stuff. And yeah man, I mean there's not too much going on there. So we come to the side here, now this side is exactly the same as the other side, but if you're like, have eagle eyes, you may have noticed there's one different piece on the other side because they gave me the wrong piece. I'll show that to you in a second, but check it out here. It looks really good. And the doors open up just fine, but open it here, here, and here. You see, it's open. Unfortunately, there's nothing inside. So is that good or bad? Do you wish there was detail on the inside? Well, I guess you can put your own stuff in there. You can open it here to the other side, there. It's just all studs in there, so you can probably put your own tools inside, you know, but they didn't come with any of those. But the ones here in the front actually has some engines inside. They're really simple, and for some reason, they made a mistake, and they sent two more engines, and the manual says something like they had to be replaced, but I don't know, it's just for look, you just stick them in there, 
and you have two extra engines. How cool is that? So we'll close these. And on the inside there, there's only a seat, and steering wheel, and two gear shifts. That's it, it's pretty plain. Now behind the chair, you can barely, barely see that, is actually the control for the front wheels. Yeah, you can actually control this thing using this thing on the top. How interesting is that? Thank goodness you don't have to use the inside because it would be hard to get your fingers in there to control it. But look, you just turn and it works just fine. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Yay. And by the way, it rolls just fine if this thing is centered straight properly without moving. There, like that. And now when I bought the set, they actually gave me a wrong piece. This piece here, this Technic piece, is supposed to be two more holes. It's supposed to be a six. And they gave me this. And this was the control for the front wheel. It was wrong. But the good news is, if you actually buy from us, BreakMeUpScotty.com, we can get you those missing pieces. It does take time, but we've been helping others find their missing sets. But if you bought it from another place, sorry man, can't help you there. So there you go. I found my own spare piece and it works just fine now. The front wheels here is actually designed to be really loose like that. Now, technically, you could actually fix it so it won't move by adding, I don't know, a couple more pieces in there. But, you know, it's meant to be played that way. So you can go like, yeah. <laughs> I might have actually preferred it just to be locked so it can just go back and forth. I don't really need the steering part. But if you have kids, that's good for the kitties. Yeah. So just to show you on the side, this is where the piece was missing. This is supposed to be the other way, so I can put another lightsaber handle on there. And I guess these are just like fire hose extensions for this. I'm not sure. You experts can let me know. And look, it says fire there, printed. And I do like the printing back here on the rooftop. That's kind of cool. And then we come to the back here, which is a special part about this build because it's a water tank. And unfortunately, these pieces, again, it's like the silver coating that they use. I couldn't really fit it in properly. I couldn't get it in straight. I have an issue with this piece too. I might ask them to help me replace this because it doesn't get fully flushed in. It kind of pops out. And I think, again, that's because of the coating that they use or this silver color, they made the pieces a little bit thicker. But you know, you just pull this like that, turn it, you rotate it. Look at that. Yeah, look at my eyes. Hello. When you see that hot girl walking down the street. Anyway, let's just close this up here. So, you know, you don't want to push too hard back in. It might not pop back out. So it's not perfect, but you know, if you're seeing the close up right now, you can kind of see how this thing is actually made. It's very simple. It is a little bit rough. So my tip is don't push these all the way in. Hopefully yours is fine. My one is kind of like, like I said, it's pushing out a little bit here. It's not perfect. So you might want to get that replaced. Oh, well, oh, well, you're not perfect thing, Bao, but you know, it's not bad. And the flaps on the back, even though one of mine is slightly more damaged than the other, it does say fire department on there, so that's cool. And I know one of you who ordered it, you know who you are. Do I need to say your name? Do I need to say, yeah, you can just comment in the video. But you bought the other one and you realized that there was actually a misprint, right? It was like a wrong word or, you know, that's the scary part about buying these sets that have prints on them. They might be flipped upside down, which one of Mini Sam sets actually is flipped upside down. You'll have to live with that, thank goodness. Everything is spelled correctly on here. So yeah, printing is okay on this one. I do like the detail along the top here. It's really cool. It's another hose thingy going on here. I guess that's just like a pump that connects to this and it shoots out water, but it's really short. So it only stays up here on the top and it does pop off really easy like that because it's not really attached to this thing. It just pushes down, it clips in, but just, you know, you can't pick it up like that. You have to just, Rotate it with your hands gently. Gentle kid, be gentle with this thing. I like how they put a like, little yellow light there in the steering wheel and I guess those are fire extinguishers, but they actually put some thought into this. They didn't just like leave it all studded. They could have. They even put like the little air con vents there on the, on the top on the front, so that's kind of cool. And more lightsabers. Man, they're using a lot of lightsabers for like the accessory parts. And like here, there's actually space inside. You just can't get to it. Man, I just kind of wish it was more accessible to get in there. But overall, it's okay. You guys wanna look underneath? Look, this is what it looks like underneath. Nothing special. So it is unfortunate I can't really take this piece off. You can take this part off and you can actually take the back part off like that. So you can kind of see it. And I just wish you had here to come off so you have more room to play with the stuff on the inside. But that's okay, folks. No problem. We'll put this all back together. And that's it, man. It's a really, really small set. Do I like it? Yeah, it's cool. It's different. Now we do the treaded chop test. Oh, this, part, this is probably gonna fall apart, man. Dang, you guys. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Oh, not bad. Maybe the rubbers are actually saving it. Maybe I should go a little bit higher. Dang it. Somebody stop me. That always freaks me out. And we gotta make sure this is still in working order. Yeah. All right. Of course it does have one minifigure. Let's check him out. Look how angry he looks. He's like, no more fires. I need to put the fires out. I think the printing is fine. It looks really cool. It's on both sides. He's wearing the jacket. Yeah. And he got his, the fireman's helmet on. And this is Tyler. Tyler, this video is actually for you. I know this is your department and you know, I consider you and all you firefighters are heroes. So thank you for putting out all the fires and working really hard. And it comes with these two little accessory things. They're like hoses. Check that out. Be like, come at me fire. I will put you out. Or are these like supposed to attach to this thing? Oh no, it doesn't fit there. Like that. Now that is a cool mock. Look at that. It's more energetic now. All right, it is dimension time. Break out your 32 by 32 base plate. Put it down somewhere and just use your imagination and pretend this is with you. And you can already see it's past 32 studs. So if I were to lift this up, put it here and put that on there. Yeah, it's kind of like 36 studs by length. If I kind of line it up there and you know, you have a couple more here. Yeah, around there, maybe 35, maybe 34. I don't know. Anyway, let's check the width. So if I line it up like this and we count from here to here, that is around 10 studs by width. Now let's see the height. Now break out your one by four bricks. I'm gonna put it against here and measure to the hose that is on the top. If I can squeeze it in there, put this back a little bit. Look at that. It fits right there, just like that. And that is 14 bricks in height. Yes. Will that fit in your garage? Probably not. So there you are, Tyler. You're looking nice and angry. You look just like deer, right? You guys can be buddies. There you go. You can put you right there. Yeah. So there you guys go, Zing Pao's firefighting water tank fire truck. Go get yours if you're into the stuff. See if it fits in your city. Do I like it? Yeah, it's fine. They're just missing a couple pieces and the silver coating is a little bit off. And you do have to be a little bit careful when you're moving this thing because it might pop your thing off like you saw earlier. It's not perfect but it's super cheap. Yeah, I think it's really cheap. Go look, just let us know what you think. And yeah, all right. Okay, put this down. Time to get to some other reviews. So until next time, break me out. <laughs> looks, like a, looks like a scared little robot. <laughs> or when you get overly excited, Ah, uh, that's, um, sorry, man. Psh, nitro Bruce. Man, what is going on with the weather outside? It's like constantly changing. It's like sunny, dark, sunny, dark. Sorry, guys. I should have prepped the lighting a little bit better. Go put out that fire. You look just like deer, right, deer? My mouth, Scotty. Deer, your face came off again. When did it come off? I can't tell these things, you know? It fell off a long time ago, dummy. Riding on the fire truck. Whoa, like that. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Deer and I are gonna help Tyler here go put out some fires, right Deer? That's right. Man, this hose is heavy. Where are we supposed to attach this thing anyway? I don't know, man. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell for more videos. And of course, thank you to all the firefighters out there. You guys are the heroes, man. That's right. You guys are the best. Thank you for saving all of us. See you later. Bye-bye now.